back in the shop, looks like we got all kinds of goodies here. There's there's something missing though. Something that was right here, kind of sitting. Something huge. Something huge. It's ready though. It's ready. It's, uh, I got a text today. Uh, so every, everybody knows, because we can't not laugh, because we like to say it. Everybody knows that uh, <laughs> Powder Rangers <laughs> does our powder coating yep. here in Oklahoma City. Yep. Well, Powder Rangers is a, uh, it's a small little place, you know, <laughs> one dude does it all. Uh, and his old furnace cooker. Just wasn't quite big enough. It's just not quite big enough to do a full frame. So we took uh, the frame over to, hang on, Affordable Coating Solutions. Is that who it is? Yep, ACS. Affordable Coating Solutions, which is the same people who did Kilo's frame. Mm -hmm. Man, dude, that deal gets it real close. What is this? How many foot pounds? 12 and a half. 12 and a half? That right there does real close yep. to 12 and a half foot pounds. Um, took it over to Affordable Coating Solutions and... Man, it was cheap, dude. Knocked her out. Like, I don't know if they knocked it out. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah. We're gonna go pick it up. Oh tomorrow. no, they got it done. That's, that's what I meant. Yes. They got it done, and I know the type of work that they did on Kilo's frame, and not only Kilo's frame is they did the uh, all all of this stuff for the Scout right. build that we did. Uh, everything that's powder coated on the Scout they did also. Uh, so they do good work, but the price that they gave me, man, made me. You know how you ever you ever go somewhere and it's so cheap that you go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I want quality work. Yeah. I mean, but, no, I don't, but yes. Dude, the I mean, it almost made me reconsider taking it there. But then I remember they did Kilo and they did all the other stuff for me. So I know, yeah. I know they did a good job. But anyways, man, it, it was, with that being said, it was cheap. Uh, I'm not real sure we're ever going to paint a frame again. Oh, here she comes to bring all her dogs to, to upset my dog. See, see? Hey, Briar, come here. So basically what we're doing right now, uh, until we go get that, honestly, by tomorrow, this thing should be a roller. Uh, we're not gonna have the wheels, so we're gonna have some gross ass wheels on it. Ugh. You know, the ones that came on the fire donk, yeah. but they're 20s and ugh. And we we'll keep them real clean. Oh, those may not fit. What size are these? They will. I, yeah, I think anything bigger than a Haven't we put fit. those on the blue Caprice before? Yeah, when yeah, Dad painted it. Yeah. Did we already have the? I was trying to think. The big, we... the big ones on it. Okay, so this is gonna be. Should I say that? Huh? Yeah, fuck it. I, I usually say things and I stand behind them, whether I'm wrong or not. Yes. I'm still gonna stand behind it. This is gonna be the nicest build we've ever built, in my opinion. The wagon. There's no hater over there. She is a hater, man, about all things. So anyways, I do believe that this is gonna be one of, if not the best build that we've ever done. I mean, Kilo was nice, dude. Yeah. Kilo was nice. The Scout's cool. You know, it just, and then the other two that we took to SEMA, those weren't SEMA builds. You know, we built the, we built the fire donk and let's just be honest, man. If we didn't break up the time that we were gone doing MPK, we built that thing in a month. Yes. So, hey, and it's still holding up, you know? It's yep. so, so it's fine, but there's certain things on it that I'm just not happy with. Uh, we could have done better on paint and not necessarily dad's body work. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the door jams, things like that. Um, yeah. hey. um, just little stuff, man. Yeah. Just little, just nitpicky little, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Body lines don't necessarily Still better than 90% of the SEMA builds that go. Yes, body lines, and we still drove it in and drove it out. Yep. Um, body lines don't necessarily all match up, whereas, man, I don't know if I've showed you or not, but Dad literally just texted me this morning and said, look at this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but Dad said, this thing is getting straight. And I said, well, it better be. That's what you do. <laughs> so look, this is what Dad does. Okay, so here is the car 
on the rotisserie. Can you see how there's no body lines? Oh yeah. You could physically it. could not open that door right now because whenever he whenever he blocks this car, yeah. look down here. <laughs> there is no bottom to that. Wow. When he blocks this car, he gets it all straight, and then the last thing he does is he goes through and cuts open all the, the door jams so that they're all everything is just straight. There's no there's no difference That's in none cool. of it. Um and he really wants to put the fenders and stuff on it. And that kind of scares me because without the frame, we don't really know where the core support's at. We don't really know where the fenders need to go up and down. I mean, we could take a good a good guess at it, Yeah. but that and still scares yeah. me. That still scares me. But dad's over there just steady putting in body work uh, on that car. And I don't want him to be waiting on me. If he goes through all that work to get that body done, and then I don't have the chassis sitting here ready to drop the body on it, I'm gonna be upset. So uh, we pulled apart the 4L80. You took it to powder coat this morning. I did. Uh, we're gonna powder coat that. Uh, Texas Speed is working on a motor for us. Yes. It ain't gonna be anything special. It's gonna be one of their program motors. Uh, one, one of the brawler ones. series like we kind of got from my truck. Okay, uh, oh yeah, people saw that. Yes. Okay, so it's just gonna be a brawler series. Uh, all motor deal, probably make 400 to the tires. Uh, all motor deal, we're not gonna worry. This thing is not gonna be, I mean, if it does make any more power than that, we're gonna choke it down through one <laughs> single exhaust yeah. with a huge muffler on it. And, you know, so, but anyways, basically right now we're doing all this boring stuff that takes forever, putting together all these brakes. We're gonna assemble this whole rear end. We're gonna assemble this whole rear end, put it all together, and then when the frame gets here tomorrow, then we're gonna make this thing a roller. Hello? Okay, so we got one side of this quick performance rear end put together with the big wheel wood brakes. It's really not a big deal. Look at the squish. Oh yeah, we got some good squish here on this intersection. Mm -hmm. Don't want the leaks. But for the big wheel wood brake to really fit right, we gotta take it over here to our drill press and the mill and the lathe. And I remember what we had said about when we get the new shop, we're gonna have one. We <laughs> don't have one yet. Yeah. So Sean's doing a little uh, precision milling here. So I'm sure we showed this on whenever we built the, the blue donk. Don't ask me why, but for some reason, this is what's gotta happen. Yep, it's a thing. It, it, it is a thing, and as soon as, as soon as I started uh, putting the first side together, I remembered it was a thing. Yep. Um, it's not a big nothing. thing, but it's a thing. No, but there's nothing that you can do to make all three of these things line up. Mm -hmm. You can get the this one and this one, yep. but not this one. Yep. Or you can get this one and this one, but not this one. <laughs> not all three of them are going to go in there. Nope. So, and in fact, I think what I want you to do, Phantom, is go get me one size bigger. Didn't that other one, that other one, remember that middle one was yeah. just a little bit iffy? Yeah, I mean, we barely taking any material yeah. out. We're taking like two thousands out here. Or three. Maybe so, five. Uh, to get them all to fit, and not to mention, it's got a decent sized Allen head on it with uh, with a bunch of washers. Yeah. And the washers. Those are shims. Well, they're sh <laughs> I was gonna say, you can call them washers, you can call them shims, you can call them spacers. Yep. Ooh. Okay, we, we took a little bit of a material There's some meat on that there. one. M E A T. You guys complain about us not having a drill press and we can't be a professional shop, so we got one. There it is. That's it. So, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know how many of, of these kits that they've done. I know how many I've done, huh. and I've had to do this on all of them, yep. so. Ooh, ooh. We made sure on this side that they're gonna fit. The other oh, side yeah. was a little bit closer. Yep. But. This don't even bother me at all. You'll never think about it once you're done. Nah, we don't think about it on the blue donk. Nope. 
So it works just fine. So I understand that uh, doing this the way that we're doing it, but some things just have to be done this way. It would have been so much easier to put a bare housing in this car and then build the rear end. I mean, it's pretty this nice building cool, it. Though. Well, it's pretty nice building it right here where I don't have to bend over. I'm not mm -hmm. sitting in a chair, but man, this thing's heavy. So yeah. as soon as we get this thing built and then we have to take it over, but obviously you don't see the frame here. We don't have the frame yet. So I'm trying to get as much done as I possibly can before I have all the stuff. The frame will be here tomorrow though. We need to go get your tractor and lift it up with it and then set it on a jack and then jack it up in the frame. There it is. Let's fix the thing. Oh. We're missing one. Okay, so. Six of those and three of the gold ones. Well, three of these are oh, wasted yeah. right now. Yeah. So. Ooh. Yeah. Son of a bitch. So we have to spacer these out, guys, just to, just so that you know. See how those are? Um, there are different configurations where you can put the brakes here, you can put the brakes here, but unfortunately, with our four link, oh, yeah, you really can't deal. put them anywhere else except on top. Now, it does suck when you go to bleeding brakes, but what we'll have to do is we'll have to pull this back off, slide it around, bleed it, you know, where either, either this is on top or this is on top, and then yeah. go from there kind of sucks you know if you want to do it right or we could just get our snap-on deal and suck it out uh, sometimes it works okay i'm gonna before we do anything else i'm gonna make sure that all three of these bolt up oh, they will for sure they better i just watched you machine it i know that's a precise machine too well, they were straight perfectly perpendicular boom there's two let's see if the third one goes Should be right up there. Uh, this is not the right size. There it is. Here it is. That's it. Boom. We finished sliding all this stuff together and then the rear end will be done. Uh, we still gotta shim everything. And yeah, that's what I mean, finish sliding it together. It's kind of, uh, we're going to start with the same shims that we have on the other side, though. Um, ooh, we can do it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Measured them out just so, right. They, they knew these, that's what you needed. These were the 15 000s, right? Yes. Oh, man, I like these chairs. You got you some new Viper chairs. Well, the only thing that isn't that cool about them is they need a stop. They have one. It does. We need to half-ass stop one because I sit down, and the next thing I know... Ooh, you about rolled over Briar. Well, she should move. Yep. That's how is, she learns. I don't, uh, are these all 15 thousandths? Yes. Mm. Can you can half it? I thought that was half. In between? Mm. Nope. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is there any res any resistance yet? Nope. Oh. I don't really feel any. Don't worry about it. Okay. These are I'm all 15 thousandths, right? Yes. All of these? Yes, all of them. Okay. I think. Looking good, huh? My little paint booth down there. <laughs> okay. So now let's see, cause a lot of times from side to side, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And the shims guys that we put in there, what I do is I look straight down this line right here and I try to line it up in the middle of this. I mean, you don't have to do that, but otherwise your brake pads are gonna wear different. Yeah. And you know, we like to do things right. Do it once, do it right. It's the motto around here at 187 Customs. Man, y'all see the new shirt I just ordered. Is it good? Like a 187 Custom shirt. Is it cool? It's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you. What do these numbers mean? Does that say 64? 64. This one says 86. Let me throw that one away. Oh, that's 80. Is that 86 or 85? 86 is whenever you get kicked out of place. Yeah. You know how I know? <laughs> I've been 86 out of Denny's before. <laughs> How the fuck you get 86 out of Denny's? Like, Man, you can do some shit and not get kicked out of Denny's. Well, turns out you cannot uh, go out, get drunk. Oh yeah, no, I like that. That's pretty cool. Hang on. Hang on. Should I show them? Oh, that, those aren't gonna do you no good. Hang on. 
Yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. It's nice pretty and cool. simple. It's pretty cool. And you know me, I like nice and simple stuff. Yeah, yeah. you can show them. What do you think about that? Just nice and simple. Coming soon. Ordered today. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, no, we got we got booted <laughs> out of there. Um, turns out you cannot uh, go drinking all night and then go in there and try to sober up before you go home. Yeah, I thought that's what Denny's was for. That's what we thought too. Well, we Maybe had. Maybe you were belligerent. We cannot drink. I'm not a coffee drinker. Like oh, you know that. I've yeah. never been a coffee drinker. Yeah. But if you put enough sugar on yeah. anything, yeah. I will. I would drink it, drink it or eat it. Yep. Well, we had so much sugar piled up on that table. Oh. Like from the old, you know yeah. what I mean? To, and we made like a game of it. We piled it all up. And then the next thing you know, we're taking the creamer on our spoons and, and watching it fly and you know. Oh, so you guys were being assholes. We, yes. Yeah, okay. It was in California. You know what we used to do as a, we'd stop on the baseball bus at a McDonald's or something? We'd take a penny and set it up back when they had the salt shakers and we'd not not many places have that sonic had that in, in the day too we yeah. spin a quarter and then you slide <laughs> yeah. it over yep yep we were some real assholes as Man. kids that thing's got to go way more way way yeah, way it more. looks like it needs to go yeah 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 that's what i'm saying i don't know slide her on down there it can't it's hidden oh it will it, it physically will, will not, not go any further Satan. Yeah. Just all over. I say, you've been checking the oil in that truck? Yeah. Yeah. I say, you've been draining the, the catch can? Yeah. Meaning he's watching, once a week. Meaning he's watching the oil pressure. Yeah. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? See, and this is what it does to me. Yeah. Enables me to, you know. <laughs> Take a little time off. Yep. You know, slow down a little bit. I wish she would lay down. I got like, look at all the, the I got some sheets. I got some pillows. Couple beds. Couple beds. I can open the, she really likes the Impala. So oh, I can yeah. open the car door and she'll go lay in it, you know, every once in a while. That's where she's headed. Go ahead. Yeah, she got a little uh, water ahead. dish in there, and she's like, "Oh, we're man, it's crazy that it needs that much more." But see, she just went in there. Yep. Well, we got some more fifteen thousand shims. I know, but still, I'm talking. It needs a lot, man. What happened? They fit right on. Oh. What do you mean that what happened? I was, I was fixing to say. You act surprised. I was fixing to say, look oh. away. <laughs> look away. Hey man, sometimes you gotta tap some stuff. Oh yeah. That's what we had to do on the other side. Uh -huh. This side just fit perfect. And then these are, uh, eh. yeah. I hate putting these on and then taking them back off, but it's part of it. Cause you always feel like you're stripping them. Yes, cause it's the triangle or fucking whatever like you can see you can look in here i don't know if you can see it on the camera but they're oblong or triangled so that they lock on so the nuts that duffy uses for center sections are like that too and he gave me a whole bunch one time and he said now these suck but i'll show you a trick and he ran a tap through them and made them round again they'll go right on i mean it takes away the purpose no 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 no. hey look but for this one right here you know how that one's a bitch uh -huh. right uh -huh. so you can use them on those bottom ones and help me slide this to where i can turn this rear end now because right now it's it's fucked because it's just We're, do it enough let me see Is, is it off? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? I mean, it's touching a little bit, but. Oh, dang. 
Oh, it's touching over here now. Yeah. All right, got that heavy thing off the table. So now we're putting together, the reason I had to pull these things apart was because obviously uh, these are all the QA1 front suspension parts for 71 to 76 uh, Caprice Impala. And just like in the Fire Donk, we made all them red. Mm -hmm. These were actually already black, but you know, they, got they didn't come with these. On. They got cut, they got welded on. Uh, all this right here is extra because this is where the bag sets. Uh, these are front A arms and the bag sets right here and then it goes up and down. So of course I had to pull everything apart and these are their rebuildable uh, ball joints, which are really cool, man. You can pull these things apart, make them longer, make them shorter for whatever application you want. Mm -hmm. There's the, there's where the ball sets in there. Uh, obviously that right there is where you put it in here and you adjust it down with this right here. They make a really cool tool. We got a few of them somewhere. We, <laughs> we've got a couple of them somewhere. Yeah, we'll post a picture of it at some point. Uh, when we yeah. find so, you know, that is what it is. But it's a really cool deal. Um, simple, simple, simple to do. Sean is all about the lube. That's right. Look at that. See where it comes from everywhere? Uh huh. Now it's coming out on your finger. Yeah, no, no. And... no I, I pushed it in there on purpose. You know, so, that, you know. Yeah. So people learn, you know. Yeah. And cue Aaron Collin. Uh huh. Because that's, that's what happens. Because that's what happens. She's probably going to tell me it's about time to go to Aiden's baseball game. Let me see. Um, so, yes, it is, uh, it's a lot. You know, but makes it nice and look at that. Oh, uh, what, what do you mean? Oh, you know, that's going to go together. Oh, right? I figured you would just, oh yeah, it's not going to because it's going to jam up all your tiny little threads. Oh, it's going to push it right in there. Just like all the, <laughs> just like all, everything does. Hopefully it'll make it easier too. Uh, but they do have a really sweet tool for this. Uh, man, and look, in my defense, I gave it a good shot, man. I looked for it. Look, in fact, I looked everywhere for it. Just couldn't find it. Just couldn't make it happen. How many of these I've done too? Hey, 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 hey. She's all right. She won't hurt you. She's gonna bite the fuck out of you though. No, that one's different. She don't walk behind you like Chance does. So, I hope they're not watching this. Steve, I'm sorry, buddy. I hope they are so they'll send some more tools. Man, but that, the problem is, is we got a bunch of them around here somewhere. So you just Oop. hear it squishing it all out, what I tell you. Okay, you just do that until it, man. See here, that thing lube up. Keep on going. Got that good maximum in there. It's, uh, that's still not tight enough. Ooh. Remember how tight it got once you locked that other one down? I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do kind of like I do bearings. Oh yeah. Right now I'm still just squishing some, some of the grease out. I'm gonna do it like I do bearings. Keep on doing this, tighten it down as tight to almost to where it doesn't turn, and then I'm gonna back it up just a little remember, bit. Remember the last time you did that? I don't even wanna hear about it, cause hey, the other, the other day, uh -huh. all of my bearings are like that on the trailer, and I almost pulled them all off, and then I went, eh, and I left them alone. <laughs> Site. You know what we're gonna call that good. And then they have this other nifty little deal that Lock goes in her here down. that locks it that we also do not have the tool for. But it's a really cool, uh, it yeah. does this and you just screw it on there. It'd probably make it easier to put this thing on too. You guys can picture how cool it would be. Yeah, since we can't really show you. Oh, look at that, the grease, the grease uh, made it happen. That's what I got my little tool out here for. Mm -hmm.
Sorry, QA1. No briars long for the ride. Yeah. Where are we going, Briar? Shit, man, you know I don't need cameras. Huh? So, seen us working on the stuff for the wagon yesterday, putting the quick performance rear end together with the wheelwood brakes. Got all that stuff back from powder coating at Powder Rangers. Well, <laughs> today we are headed to get the frame from ACS. Yes. So, you guys seen it was back halved, but I mean, basically it was back halved I mean, by, yeah, it's back half. by Fat Fabs. So, it'll lay frame in the back or lay bumper in the back and airbags all around. Well, it was still the stock frame up front. It was ugly. It was gross. It was 50 years old. So we brought it up here. They blasted it, powder coated it. Yeah. So we'll take it back. Uh, by the end of today, it actually should be a roller. Uh, and then after that, I'll start trying to get the brakes going. Uh, fuel pump, fuel lines. We should be able to get this thing pretty damn close. Like. And then whenever dad's done with the body, set, her set on the there. body down. Uh, we're gonna have to break out the old ugly wheels that we always use on projects like this. Uh, oh. You know, the ones that came on the fire donk when we yeah. got it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they'll fit. The old 20 twin twins. I, I'm pretty sure that we've had them on the blue donk before, so yes. they should fit on this one also. Um, and then we can at least roll it around because we don't have the wheels yet from what high school is this. Southeast High School? Is that what it says? Yeah, Southeast. Because uh, we don't have the wheels from Corleone yet. So we still got a lot of figuring out to do on this thing. Um, on what needs to be gold versus what needs to be chrome. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of gold do we need to do? It would be way cheaper and easier to, to maintain, keep clean, all that stuff if we powder coated it gold. Now at some point we gotta pull over and get some fucking fuel. Uh, so you know, obviously the gold looks better. Yeah. But now they're being able to do some powder coating with gold that looks amazing. The the wheels on the the F one fifty they look amazing. Yes. You know, and we we both know they're not real gold. Nope. So they play the part though. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay, here it is right here. Portable coating. Oh, there it is, sitting outside. Man, that thing's sitting outside already. Oh, yep, there it is. Huh. I wonder if they want to pick it. Man, it's dirty as hell. Yeah, it looks like it's been sitting outside for a month. Man. It looks pretty good. It does. It does. Okay, I guess I'll go over here and go in and pay. And You got to pay for this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not much though. Yeah. Like. I gave you that old YouTube deal, right? Man, I don't. Isn't that how stuff works? I don't think so. Yeah. Just in case. Man, it looks good. Yeah, it does. I mean, aside from you know being dirty, it looked like we drug it down our dirt, our gravel road. Uh -huh. It's just pre-dirty. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Hey, man, leave their shit alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them do their job, right. huh? Go ahead. Oh, we got this. Yeah. Uh, Yep. That's Perfect. it. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So picked up the frame earlier, and now we are bolting stuff on. And man, it's it's starting to take shape. Like it's starting to look pretty cool already. Yeah, it doesn't take long to take shape, but man, I'll tell you what does take long: finding all the bolts. Yeah. Well, everything's brand new. This is a seven inch bolt right here. Believe it or not, it's kind of difficult to find a seven inch bolt. Yes. Especially in a nine sixteenths. Yes. I mean, you know, five eighths, we could probably find one, you know, probably lots of 
of we can five eighths or half inch we probably wouldn't have had any trouble yes but they're also well you know five eighths is a strong but a half inch is not those are what we used to break on the dually yes yes so but we now, found some local local bolt company we got some boom got some. good to go uh i'm gonna go ahead and start on the watts link now uh we're gonna lower this down bolt the bottom of the airbags down put the watts link in it and the back's done in the back we're gonna put some air in it and then we're gonna go put those sweet ass wheels on it them 20 twin twins i really don't know if we're gonna put them on it yet i'd really like it to just sit here on some jack stands until we run the brake lines and do all that shit. yeah that's that's probably not a bad idea but we need to be sure to position the jack stands correctly because if you'll remember Last time we set a donk frame on jack stands, it had fallen off. Yeah. No, I don't, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't? Nah, no. That never happened. No. That it's all, happen. it's all, that was yeah. all for TV. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that was just fake. You yeah. know, like losing races on purpose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they told us to do that, so we were like, all right. Yeah, we said, okay. We'll go ahead and drop this $20,000 motor <laughs> in this frame yeah. and. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. So, I don't think we're going to do that yet, um, but... Windy up here today. Look at that. Oh, I don't even know what that was, but we probably need it. And oh. it was rolling. Oh. It, these Viper chairs, if it wasn't for those things right there, that Viper chair would roll all the way I across know. the shop. I know. It's crazy. Um, get me a washer, two washers, please. You know what I'm thinking? Almost thinking, do we put a washer in between it? We probably don't, huh? This is aluminum. Oh, man. Almost thinking about putting a washer in there, you know? The washer probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I would think that aluminum would eventually galled up. So, washer, washer, aluminum. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Then this bolt might not be long enough. Washer. Washer. Let's see. Ooh. Close. Give me another washer. Two more washers. Do you believe washers are directional? Um, I mean the looks are. Yeah. Where is, ooh, this is it. Yep. Nah, it ain't gonna hit the, one of them's not getting one. Do, don't put one on the outside there. Would be fine, I think. Yeah? Like this? Yeah. I still don't know. But yeah, no, it's gonna hit the threads. Okay. All right, um, where's the gun? Uh, you need the big wrench. We're, we're at a bad spot. I've got myself in a bad spot here. This either needs to go forward <laughs> five feet or it needs to come back five feet so that I can stand in the pit. Yeah, swap those here. Yeah, the old death pit back here. We need to just drop a dyno or something in there to take up that space. I know. Because, I, I mean, dogs are falling in it. Ooh. It's a little toy. That is tight. That's fine. We might uh, maybe spray some lithium grease or some graphite lubricant in there so it will glide, perhaps. So deal's coming right on together. That's what happens. When, yep. You know, when you're prepared. Yep. I mean turning the camera on and turning the camera off and things being done, it just magically gets it, done. It just happens. It, it, it's not the fact that it took us uh, four hours to do all that back there because we had to recalc clock the back brakes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> None of it was gonna work right because, uh, well, you can go show them. Yeah, so what happened here was, you know, we had, to, we had the caliper up here, right? So, 
this little port back here where the fluid goes into we're going to hit this bar as soon as we put a fitting on it so we have to caulk the bracket that the bracket bolts wow. to there's only one, two, three, four ways that you could clock those and that's the reason why they don't have a left and a right on the brackets yes. because depending on where you clock it at depends on which side of the car it goes to yeah. so every other spot that you could actually clock them or they're made to be clocked to we couldn't because it would have hit our trailer arms right so what we had to do is we had to take the backing plate off oh, yeah. right invert it invert it like yeah like this upside down but only on this side upside down and then put them off to the front like that bob's your uncle calipers on the front side of the rotor now that's right and it looks better there anyways I actually like it better there. Uh, it's going to be easier to. Oh no! What you got going on there? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I just wasn't. Oh, okay. Uh, it's going to be easier to bleed and everything from where we had it earlier. Uh, a lot of times on like the MPK car and stuff, I forget that brake calipers should stand up and down like that. But like on the MPK car and things like that, we put our calipers on the top. And we do that for a reason, or at least I do that for a reason. I don't know if everybody does that or not. I do it because whenever you put the stuff on, now we have uh, carbon brakes and I don't want to break the carbon. Right. So getting them on, it's tough because we have to wedge them in there anyway. So we have to wedge them like that and then go up and everything fits happier whenever the caliper's on top. Otherwise you beat them up and- you Beat it on the rotor yeah. and that carbon rotor. So the back's all bolted together. I uh, got the big wheelwood brakes on back there. Got the airbags bolted up. Got air in them, as you can see. And Sean has put together the front end. Got the bags on the front. Got all the A-arms bolted on. He's finishing up the last caliper and rotor right now. These big brakes look killer. Big brakes always look killer. You got to use your old favorite tool in the shop right there, huh? The Lincoln Tomahawk. I know, it don't happen very often that nope. I get to use it. You know what was even cooler about it? Compressor never kicked on once while you were using it. We finally got our big bin pack compressor installed. Got the air system all ran. Got five hose reels from Benger slash Range Pack in here. Or, no. <laughs> I said Benger or Range Pack. Range pack. <laughs> so look, there's a game yeah. cast and there's a, yeah. a dream cast and a game look, cube. There's a bin pack and there's a ranger. <laughs> so, got the uh, what is this bumper outer skin, and then this is like the yeah. crash. So, anyways, look at all the shit in here. This is what causes rust. You know, that's yeah, rust. Yeah, look at right all there. this rust. Yeah, like it's all, of, all of this. Even though, all of this. even though this bumper's really nice, and I even thought to myself, we're not gonna have to do anything. We're gonna have to do anything to this back bumper. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Like, yep. look at how nice this back bumper is. And it cleans up nice. Look at how nice the chrome oh, still yeah. is. Oh, yeah. And you can't tell, but all that rust is back there and behind it. So, I mean, and, and like, uh, like the fire donk where I tried to lose a lot of weight, I lopped these off right here and just used this to mount the bumper yep. and took away because this it's probably heavy. weighs double what this back bumper weighs. Yes. Uh, on this car, we're not really gonna worry about weight. So what I'm gonna do, look at that, it's just falling apart. I'm going to take this piece. Have it powder coated. I have to pull all that stuff, this stuff out like this, every, come up here. Pop it out, break, break it. Break it. do that the whole way down and then I may take this and have it powder coated because this is a little bit different uh, our tag is in here so I really need if I'm gonna have to cut this off all I'm gonna do is cut it from here to here yeah. and lose this uh, it's not really worth it on this uh, car weight doesn't really matter on this car uh, it's gonna be heavy regardless uh, it's uh, held on airbags so we don't have to worry about throwing uh, a thousand pounds worth of kicker stereo in the back of it because all we got to do is air it up a little yeah, bit higher give it a little psh, psh. uh that's all stuff that you got to consider uh in like like the donk and stuff yep uh you set the car up for the weight that it's going to be 
we're not worried about this one it's going to have air ride all the way around so uh it's definitely going to be heavy on the rear oh yeah this would be the one we should race yeah <laughs> yeah four link and everything already yeah. not a whole lot of adjustment though no. but uh so that is all the chrome to the car right there every bit of this chrome we are taken to a shop next week in dallas and we're dude this all, all this goes chrome. to this car yes holy crap yeah Ooh. did you cut yourself burn yourself no nah, burn I, all yeah. the hair's burnt um yes i mean because you see things like this right here these go how's that the spikes, How spikes? Hurt. The spikes hurt in the back these the have the rails you know what i mean oh yeah the rails. yeah so uh that's probably what we're going to do next though is just get everything out here and line it all up i feel like i know where most everything goes oh man that's the skirt, that's a trim. skirt trim i've been looking for these dad needs these i see the other one right there um i'm gonna have to call him and we may have to run out to his house he's been needing these because he already put these on the car so i really need him to do what he needs to do with these oh get yeah them back to me yeah Yep, because they are going to be gold. This doesn't look like regular skirt trim. That's definitely what it is, though. That's pretty long. Maybe I'm just used to seeing because we cut all of ours off. Yeah. We got some skirts up there, right? Uh, do we? Yeah. The fire, oh no, we put the fire dunks on. Yeah, we got the ones from Will. Oh no shit. Oh, Willie D. I bet they're in one of the- I think they're in the Connex. I bet they're in one of the Connexes outside. And we ain't even got one of our cars here. No. Nope. Uh, what time is it? Like Let me holler dad, just find out if he's there. And if he is, then we'll just go out there, we'll show the car. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I haven't seen it since Oh Slick Rick's been body working it. I gotta leave here in an hour. We better go now then. Hopefully. Man. Really just like finishing this whole deal up. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the side he just started on. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is flipped around since I was the out other here last. side is, uh, it's in primer. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm gonna move this. You gonna flip it up? Can we get this one? That side is already. Oh yeah, it is. So last time you guys seen this part, uh, Blastworks had just finished getting it down to bare metal and then we loaded it in the enclosed on the rotisserie here and richard been getting her all straight uh other side here here that's it yep yeah. so we found the uh skirt trim and all that chrome we were showing you and hauled ass over here so we could get it fit up but he's got this side pretty straight over here How are we gonna make it look okay over to here? Well, we'll have to go like this. Uh huh. Yeah, whatever. I've got pins here, here, and here. How do you hold them on? Oh, just with the screw here. Fucking yeah. right. Yeah, but I've got pins in it here. Yeah. So it won't move. Yeah. Yeah. See that? So. Oh yeah, how our other ones? They kind of. He countersunk some pins that will stay with this, uh -huh. and then he drilled holes up in there. And so it all fits up in there, and then you got a screw right here and a screw right there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Dad's a fabricator. Yeah. Yeah. Went to school for that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> How's the other side? The other one? Here. This. Don't lose those. It's smooth over here. Yeah. That's how you do that side one more time and prime it again oh yeah see you can't even see where the the skirt's at on this side yep. and we could leave it but we're gonna make it a well, two-piece yeah, gotta, yeah. You know, pull, pull the wheels and stuff off yeah you know? the tires and stuff but all this is is you know oh yeah ready for paint what about uh <laughs> yeah. what are we gonna do with the firewall will it be we're smooth gonna, we're gonna cover it okay yeah. Cause it'll get like a vintage heat and air type deal, right? Yeah, so all this will have to go. All this, all this. And then 
We'll probably leave all this stuff because we'll probably put inner fenders in it. Or we could fill all that up and then leave the inner fenders out. Yeah, one or the other. I think inner fenders look good though. I can't put the fenders on because of this. Yeah, and you've got so much weight on this thing now, I don't think I'd take them off. Yeah, that's why I put that back on before you got here. Put what back on? That skirt, so you wouldn't see how much it weighed. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, it doesn't matter. We pulled apart the back bumper yeah. earlier. Oh, it's, yeah. That thing's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. We got it all apart, though. Uh, Ooh, there's a the hood. We got everything apart on that. Uh, the Just got the transmission back. It's in the back of the, the truck right now, uh, powder coated and everything. So. Um, just left to go get some more Bondo. Yeah? Because they didn't have it the other day when you went down there. Mm-hmm. Getting it worked up. Yep. Trying to get a jump on this deal. Yeah, yeah, so we don't get in the normal SEMA crunch. Yeah. We're still going to, but it'll be nice. We're still going to, but uh, it would be nice to... It would be nice not to have to rush this part right here. Well, honestly, I don't even care if he paints underneath this thing and the firewall and all that, and then we put it on the car, and then he can finish doing what he needs to do. Because I know he wants to put the front fenders and everything on it to do the same as what he's doing right now. Yeah. And he could do that on the car. It will suck and there'll be a lot of cleaning. And yeah. then he'll be doing body work and shit and then we'll have to tape a whole bunch off whenever he's painting and, yeah. and all that because I don't want to tear it up after it's painted and nice. But if you want all the body lines to match up the way a SEMA build should, yeah. like we've never went to the extent of what we're doing this with. I mean, we did Kilo pretty good. Kilo, but, the, the, the but, Scout was pretty good. You know, like for, for it, it was it was what you could do. <laughs> the rivets is the, yeah. is the one thing that stands out in my mind. We should have taken all the rivets out and made all that metal work yeah. right. But you know, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's still cool. Yeah, but and the body doesn't line up the way that this car's going to. Yeah, and I don't even think Kilo lined up the way that this is going to, because the doors changed all the time. Yeah, whether or not you had the hood, the roof on the yeah, top yeah. on it or not. So. uh starting to wonder about uh we probably should have the front seat fits in this thing no problem right yeah because we unbolted it mm -hmm. jake never even unbolted the back seat the front seat did he oh yeah no he did because you can see and then we're gonna have to figure something out with the back the middle seats oh yeah that tunnel is gonna be in the way oh for sure it i know you don't want to but it's probably gonna tap buckets i know and i don't necessarily want to either but i, I like you, it's either going to be buckets or it's just going to be fabric covering the tunnel. Yes, yeah, that's what it'll be, yeah. and it'll make it look like it's a full seat. A full seat. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, this thing's going to be cool. Yes, I found a bunch of pictures of it the other day from when we first got it. Like the day we picked it up, remember I tried to dr I started driving it home, and then the brakes locked up, and then it ran out of gas, and yeah. And then I got a ticket on the way home. <laughs> yep. The guy was real cool, too. He was real cool. Talked to us for at least 20 minutes of our time and then said, here's if your I'd ticket. If I'd known he was giving us a ticket, I'd have just said, hey, man, write me a fucking ticket and let me go. <laughs> but instead, I talked to him and, you know, yep. I matched his enthusiasm and boom, still wrote me a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. 